So we all know who Harriet is, but um, the fact that she was going to be on a, on the bill, the twenty dollar bill, uh, was just the beginning of of giving her the kind of recognition that she that she deserves. But General Harriet Tubman, because the abolitionists called her that since she led an expedition of the Union Army. And the thing is that the, the project that's underway at the Treasury, the face of Harriet Tubman that they put on the bill, if you look on the in the article from the New York Times, for example, it's an angelic, young, innocent-looking, um, jovial kind of person. I'm not saying that I knew what uh, her personality was like, but we do know that she took maybe nine portraits during her lifetime, all through her, you know, once she was, uh, once she escaped and she was in, in liberty. She, uh, and, and the portraits have, you can see the maturity uh, coming along with the experience that she had. And so I think that this uh, face of Harriet Tubman really shows the strength and the, and the will to combat and, the, and the, the visionary that she was, you know, the strength that she had. And the things that she had seen and lived through, and she, and and this is what we need to talk about, and not be afraid to show her face as as a as a as a fighter, as a survivor, as someone who has a vision and and goes there and gets it. Yes. So when I pulled the print, and I had this screaming red of the letters, and I had the the blue, it was the Union uniforms, and I didn't even plan that. You know, it was a very visceral piece where the scarring of the surface was really important, and the color, and the and her portrait with that strong, strong combative. Um, gesture, and the chains, the scars, the barbed wire, it was all very visceral. My family has lived um, for maybe three generations in Arkansas, or at least has ties with Arkansas for that time, and um, and so that has been a, an important part of my um, my profession because uh, there I'm, I, I spend a couple of months or at least a number of months every year uh, in in hot springs, and I work with uh, fine arts uh, justice fine arts gallery, and I'm a member of the uh, Arkansas Artist Registry. I was uh, chosen for 2017 and 18 uh, um, to be on the um, National uh, Museum of Women and the Arts uh, on their registry. Um, the Arkansas Committee of the, of the museum uh, was curating that.